Alright, so today, my video last week, the hives are a mess. I've got super foundation, supers, frames where brood is. I'm eventually getting my brood foundation through the post yesterday. So I'm going to get that in. I'm going to get, hopefully, I've got a super here, which is going to go on the smaller hive to the left. The big brood box here is for the queen that's in the nuke there, the little poly nuke. And I'm going to inspect the big hive and see if we've got a new queen. So, I'm going to get all that done today, swap out frames. I've got a spare um, super here, just empty, because there should be some spare super frames coming out. Hopefully they're not got brood in or anything, because that will get messy. But we'll see what happens when we get in the hive. As I say, it's my first year, properly. Um, so I'm learning as I'm doing this, and hopefully your comments um, and suggestions will help us learn quicker. Right, let's get to it. Right, so first things first, I'm going to put this little nuke into my brood box, get this nuke out the way, and then hopefully we'll get these built up ready for winter. See, it's only July, but winter comes around fast, and I need this colony to survive. Well, I need them all to survive, but this is my smallest colony at the moment. So. They're drawing comb. Good. That's what I will do. I will. Again, this is probably the wrong way around of doing it. So, apologies to anyone who knows what they're doing. This is probably the wrong way. Check four frames out of that. I'm going to lift this and I'm actually going to sit it on top of this other hive for a few moments while I do this. So I'm lift this up. I'm going to shift this slate out the way. It's got a mesh bottom and we've had a few cold nights recently so I've just put that there just to keep the heat in on a night. So there's the new hive. So Take this colony, and then going to take a frame at a time. So I'll check this while I'm here. So we've got brood still to emerge. We've got honey in here. We've got pollen. That's good. So then I will take this frame. So we've got lava, we've got there's my queen. We've got brood. My queen is on this frame. I've just seen her. She moves quick. Oh, she's gone now. Oh, there she is. Bees attending to her. This frame is undrawn. I'll give them that back. Yet another undrawn frame. And another undrawn frame. There we go. So, my queen is now in her new box. So there's one, two, three, four, eleven. So there's my eleven frames. I'll then slide my dummy board in. I had to feed them last week, so I give give them a frame of honey, which they've pretty much completely emptied. So they've eaten all that. So I did end up feeding them. Right. Come on. I've left my smoker over there. Never mind. Grab 
my bee brush. Queen excluder on. Come on. There we go. Try to sting me through the uh, queen excluder. Now I'm going to clean up the uh, foam off that top of the frame first. Grab my snorkel. And because I've left it unattended, it's gone out. Great. Once there's still a bit of aroma to it. Come on, little bees. Queen excluder on. Right. Happy crown board. So now, this colony is set, so she doesn't seem to be laying at the moment, I um, don't know whether that's just because the weather's been poor recently, but we have had a few, a few good days of sun, so I don't know, if anyone's got any suggestions, please let me know, this queen might have been She's only a year old, she was hatched last year, um, so she shouldn't be coming towards the end of her laying. And she was a very, very prolific queen, and these two were uh, swarms off her, so I should have two very good genetics in these hives. Right, we'll move on to the next one. Right, time to move to this one. So, last time I was in here, from the last video, there was an open queen cell. I've got my smoker going now. Let's see if it stays lit. I don't think I put enough fuel in it. Right. So I'll start with my crown board. Right. These are pretty quiet bees, but I still swear, even on a day to day, it's 20, 20 plus degrees Celsius. I still wear my full suit, even though I probably don't need to. is I'm starting to draw that out. It's misshapen from the heat as well. Never mind. I just put it in as a filler until I got my um, my new brood. It's very misshapen. So. Got some brood frames here. And I got my end board well now. So. We've got an empty super frame. Well, it's a super frame and it's getting filled with honey. They've drawn this out and now it's got honey in. We've got a good start. Right. So, wow. All up there, comb. Because it's a super frame and they've got the space to do it. So this again is shocker with honey. 
what I'm going to do. Yep, that's what I was going to do. I was going to cut that fur comb off. Perfect. Right. It's a drone. I thought I saw my queen there. So last week I did find the queen once the camera had run out of battery. So this week I'm going to try and see if I can find her before the camera. She's probably not on this frame because it's just a frame of honey. Agitated now because I'm moving, destroying things. So, next frame heavy, heavy frame full of honey, full of honey. No sign of the queen, but a lot of honey. left on there are non-flying bees so I'll shake them in here in a minute. That's for sure. Come on, where's my queen? She should be laying. Wow, they really stuck these frames together. Wow. Okay. Honey, 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 honey. Lots of honey. Right, these are going to get a super today, definitely. But I can't find my queen. And I can't find any eggs. So this should be easy today because everyone should be out foraging. It's a nice warm day. I've got drones and lots of them. Mm. They're calm enough to have a queen. They're not you know aggressive as such. Again, I think I had, I fed them on this frame. Yeah, I did. I fed them on this frame. I had to at the time. Whoops! Oh, I meant to drop down there. Producing lots of honey. I just can't seem to find the queen. go through this hive again just to make sure she is in here because I'm a little concerned there's no eggs and I can't find her. Starting to draw this one out, frame of brood. Yeah, 
can start and draw this one out. No queen. Right. An empty brood frame, empty brood frame. Right, so we've got some empty brood frames back here. Couldn't find her on there, so. A little bit active. Got drones. Good sized workers. <laughs> Almost look like a queen. I just, don't, I just hope I don't have work playing workers at some point. Not be good. They're filling this funny. Really are. Right. Come on. Oops, the shake it. All nectar out here. All of it. Get out. Right. Frame. Please. I'm starting to set super up for them. Yeah, well, they're occupied with this. This is full of honey. So. If this queen is anything like her mum, which is in the next hive over, she should be very easy to spot. Quite a consistent orange pattern on her back. It's unusual for a carnival and queen apparently, but it can happen. No queen here. I think they're just... Because they haven't got a super, they're just making honey. So the queen has nowhere to lay. So, and these frames aren't drawn. So I think I'll give them a super. I'll give them the, some of the frames back they've started drawing and started filling. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. So it's, it's just chocker with honey. Plenty bees going in now. There's one there with lots of pollen on its legs.
no sign of the queen. It's concerning, especially considering there's no eggs. All honey. Nothing capped. Very concerning. However, she could be in the bottom of the box somewhere. Mm -hmm. She hasn't been marked yet. I'm waiting for the marking pen. Mm -hmm. Right, so this all the way up to that end. Actually, yeah. So this is drawn. Push this right up to that far end. Right. Push this one up as well. Right. And I think I'll push that one up as well. Cleaned out that fur comb so there's nothing in it. Same with that one. So, I think I shall put a bit of fur comb out of it. I think I have enough frames still. No, I don't. That's oh no, I've got two down there, man. Come on, B, that's my way. Spare frame, I think it's to that high. Far, far high. So, there's my 11 frames in. A bit agitated now, obviously. Put my end board in. Yeah, the sun doesn't melt. Right. So what I am going to do today is no, I can't. I will remove that queen excluder and uh, mouse guard. And again, I've been neglecting my smoker. <sighs> Always the same. So. Excluder. So, very gentle. Brush them in. new frames and foundation.
So there's my 11. Done. Right. So, concerning that I can't find the queen, but I don't know whether the lack of eggs is down to the fact that there is no room for eggs because they've filled that brew box with honey. So, I'll check this back in a week and see what's happened. Concerning, yes, I don't think it's anything to worry about, but I'd like to hear your comments and see what you think I should and shouldn't do with this hive and the little hive. Um, it's got a queen the little hive there, but I'm not entirely sure what to do with it yet. Right, I'll strap this up and then we'll move on to the next hive. Okay, now it's time for the big hive. So hopefully, get some honey off this today. I've been hoping, so I got a frame of here with some honey in it which originally came from here and I used to feed this hive last week. Try and keep everything as natural as possible, giving them the honey with the pollen in and the nectar in so it means a stronger colony I think. So, well I'm trying to get it so it works and I hope it gives them a better chance of survival and in the winter they get their own soup, they get one super each back. Try not to feed them so I'm not going to take too much honey off. These were pretty aggressive last week. Um, but they had a queen cell ready to hatch. So here's to hoping that we have queen in here. I have actually got some frame stands um, ordered. So they're on the way. So I started drawing this and filling it with honey. Perfect. And I only put that frame in last week when I fed the other hive. So. Not much, not drawn. Right, here we go. So, we're capping. So, I'd say looking at that side and that side, probably is about 60 70% capped. So, the next frame. Again, probably is looking again, 60-70% capped. Mm -hmm. So I can't take this super off yet. It's not capped. No. Although it's getting there. I was hoping it would be coming off today, but obviously not. I might have to wait possibly another week. It hasn't seemed to have improved much from last week's um, look at it. So. Again, it's all the same. And again, 60-70% capped. And the same again, that's even less. Right, okay. So, it's bizarre because that was pretty well capped last week. Um, that's got honey in it. Take that frame out. Shake the honey out. Shake the bees off. And I'm going to give them this one back. Fill it. And what I'll do is I'll leave this one out here for them to clean out in a bit. Work that here for now. Right, so that's this super done. See what the next super down's like. So that's quite light. So there's nothing much in there, I don't think. That's what it feels like. That's quite full. Not much cap though. So at the end started to cap. Let's have a look towards the middle. Wow, so there's nothing in there. Well, there's stuff in just nothing capped. So obviously collecting at the moment is just not capping it, so it's not quite ready. That's fine. So looks like I might not be getting any honey off this year. Looks like that's gonna be all for their winter. Okay. 
like to shake this just to make sure I don't get the queen um, into my soup because I've seen it done, well I've heard of it being done before so don't want that happening to me. Clean it off. So, just to move on out. Again, that was just in there to occupy them for a couple of weeks. And put the brood, I'll not put it in yet. So, I'm drawing that out nicely. A nice big grunt on there actually. This is getting drawn. Oh, I've got another one. Oh shoot. Do not have any more uh, root foundation. That's not going to work, is it? Not happy with that. Okay, well. Right, so I'm a frame brood short. Excellent. Right. I'll have to put that super frame back in because you can't you can't not have enough frames in. They're filling this with honey. This is why there's no honey in the top. So I'm drawing it out because I give them some fresh coat. Fresh foundation. So they're drawing it out lovely. They're just filling it with honey. So you got some cap brood. Again, lots of honey and nectar. Honey and nectar. Honey, nectar, pollen, cap brood, and there's a queen cell on here. It's capped. Now, that's a big queen cell. Just make sure there isn't a queen on here. I thought she would have hatched. And I think it was further down. I might have to strike this off. Put it in the other hive, because I don't know if there's a queen in there or not. empty queen cups there as well. I can't see a queen on here. I'll bring this up to the camera. Look at the size of that queen cell. There we are. Beast. Absolute monster of a queen cell. They're certainly calmer this week so I'm inclined to say the queen has hatched. Oh, my hands are getting sweaty at these temperatures. Empty queen cup there. Just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that queen cell for now and see if I can find a queen. If I can't find a queen, I'll leave it. If I can find a queen or fresh eggs, then I will either put it near the hive or I'll get rid of it. Is that a queen? No. We have two capped queen cells on here. We've got two capped queen cells. Oh, that's that third? I think it might be. Again, they're just as big as the first one. Right, okay. Slide that back in. Drawn brood in here. Not much else. 
else. Wow, so we got one very big queen cell that's open. Uh, it looks empty. So, if she's hatched today, she'll be out on May to or she's hatched in the last two days. She'll be out on a mating flight. Which means she'll be wanting space to lay. If these aren't giving it to her, then oh, I don't know what will happen. certainly calm, so that gives me an indication that there is a queen. Uh, where is she? Nice big run cells there. No sign of a queen. Not looking good. I've now got two hives that seem to be queenless. Not good. That's being drawn out. Again, it's just full and full of honey. Full of nectar. This is being brought in. They're just filling this brood box up. Some brood to emerge here, but there's no eggs. Lots of nectar. Wherever this queen is, she's not laying. So what I'm going to do is, I think, the smart option to increase my chances. Is this could get messy though, so we'll see where it goes. I think I'm going to have a chat with the local beekeeper, see what he suggests. So I'll get back to you on this one. But I think I will take one of the queen cells out of here and put them in that far hive. To say if there's quiet, there should be a queen in. There's a queen cell that's hatched, so there should be a queen in here. But there's no evidence of eggs. There was a crack queen cell in that one last week. Um, but there's no evidence of a queen being in there. So I'm going to close these back up um, and just see what happens, I guess. Try not to kill any bees. Right. And then I'm going to have to stick one frame of super in here. But I do not have enough brood frames. You know when you think you've ordered enough, and it turns out you haven't? Yeah. So, I will. If 
I'll give them this one. Slide that in. Put my end board in, dummy board. Right. And as you tell, I don't use my smoker much, so it um, keeps going out on me. I'm going to stop filming there, I'm going to speak to this other beekeeper, see what he recommends, and then um, I'll get back to you on that one. Alright, so, I did go back in the hive. Um, huh. So, the hive on your right, pine finished one, the, there's no sign of queen still, um, although there is an open queen cell. So I'm not sure, quite sure what to do with that. Um, I did take one of the queen cells out that was capped and I'd give it to someone else um, because they had a queenless hive, so hopefully they'll use that in their hive. I then far left. So I did eventually find the queen. Um, so I went back in later on, found the queen. So happy days, she's in there. Then they started moving the honey from the frames I took out up. So then she can start laying. She's not laying because there's honey in all the brood comb. And then in the middle hive, the original queen that I then moved from the new curly today into that hive. Um, so she again was not laying because there was um, the way for her to lay because it started filling all the comb they had with honey. So. Um, I put the super on with some drawn frames, uh, drawn super frames. So they'll then hopefully move the honey up into that super, um, and then the queen has got somewhere to lay. Um, I can't see the queen in the right hive, in that fine hive, but it doesn't mean to say she's not there because the queen. they're docile, they're quiet this week. Uh, it was last week they were quite aggressive, they were attacking the camera, they were attacking me. If I want to say there's a queen hatched, because there was an open queen cell, um, I guess I'll come back in a week and, and find out and see if what's happening. But at the moment, they're filling the brood up with honey, uh, even though there's space in the supers. So, I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Uh, I'm just going to leave it, see what happens, and if anyone has any comments, about how to sort it out, then feel free, leave me a comment, I'll uh, take it into consideration and get it done.